Hi, it's Patrick. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a real basic responsive design site in Dreamweaver using the Bootstrap. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to File, New, I'm going to go to HTML, Bootstrap, and I'm going to hit Create New, and I'm not going to use the pre-built layout. It wants me to save the CSS. I'm just going to call this Basic. Save my file. I'll call this basic. Okay. So then I'm going to put my cursor under this last script and I'm going to go over to the right to my insert panel. I'm going to make sure I have bootstrap components selected and I'm going to hit container. This is basically a basic container and then there's the fluid container. If you're wanting just a real basic and if you're just getting introduced to using bootstrap or responsive design, the container can work just fine. So I'm going to take container, I'm going to put in a header, right after the heading tag, I'm going to just put an H1 around this for now. I'm going to put my cursor right after this and I'm going to go over here to nav bar and I'm going to do the basic nav bar. So it's it's pretty complex if you expand your window you can start to see some of these different options. So if I click on a certain element that I want to get rid of I can go down here and I can start to see if I'm in the right spot. There's one so I'll delete that. I'm going to click here. I'm going to look down here for the form. Delete that. And I'm going to leave, well, actually, I this is real basic, so let's get rid of this drop down too. And in this case, I can leave this branding if I wanted to. You know, for the sake of this, it could be um, Tour of Italy, let's say. All right? And this could be, a, you know, you can imagine a picture of Italy, perhaps. Um, so let's go back over here. And under this div, right, that so it even tells me that I can see the div and then the nav tag. I'm going to make some space and I'm just going to add a section tag and a section. So this is just going to be a basic two column layout. While I'm in here, I'm just going to add an ID equals left and go down here, ID equals right. And then I'm going to add a footer. So I'm going to save all. And you can see, just like that, I have a basic framework. So I'm going to open my CSS panel. And I'm going to go to CSS Designer. And I'm going to do all my custom CSS in this basic CSS file. So right now, I'm just going to use, do some global styles. So I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to type body down here I'm going to add a basic background color so let's just go with something dark like that and then I'm going to click back over I'm going to go find my container and I'm going to make sure basic selected right I'm going to make sure global selected a container class that looks good and my container class I'm going to just for now I'm going to add a background color of white and I'm going to go up to the width and for this case you know let's just do something like 85% and so I can save all and I can preview you can preview with this live view I still used to just taking a look in a browser. So I can see that I have a basic responsive site. I have a heading that I can put a, a photo of Italy, let's say. Um, so for the purpose of this, I'm just looking for a basic image of Italy. And I can, you know, search tools. I can sit here and say, all right, size I want, you know, something bigger, let's say, larger than this. 
let's and because I'm wanting it to be kind of long and wide I'm trying to look at something that's something like this so let's just take this image click here save as in this case I always like to have an images folder and I'm gonna save it there jump back into Dreamweaver so in this heading let's just click live I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna actually replace this with a responsive image default and I want to nest it so it goes in here and I'm gonna click on this and click down here and I'm gonna go find that image that I wanted so responsive basic there's my idli image and there it looks there so I'm gonna go back to my code view and I'm gonna make sure that that image is in my h1 tag it is and then while I'm here I'm just gonna get rid of this text that says heading so I have a basic page so far so I'm gonna do a little more CSS for my two sections so one floats left and right and I'm going to add some text for my footer or add some CSS to adjust the text so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my section so I'm going to click selector and it's doing container left right and so in this case I can just use that ID and I'm going to start with the width and I'm going to change that width the one on the left I want to be a percent and we'll say 60 percent and then I can sometimes it helps me especially when I'm just kind of flushing a design out to add background colors to different things so I can just kind of keep track of the main parts All right so and then I'm gonna scroll to the top and I'm gonna find my padding and I'm just gonna add five pixels okay so now I'm gonna click on my next one and I'm gonna make sure basic global hit plus if I hit the arrow up it will narrow that down that looks good and click over here and I'm gonna to go to width and percent and I will change this to 35 percent so in this case one of the things I didn't do with the last one is I wanted to float it so I definitely need to do that but while I'm here I'm gonna do five pixels I'm gonna to go to the back up to the top I'm gonna to make sure I have a background color that's a little different and I will remove this background color later very likely like I said I just like to do this so I can see and get a good feel for what my design is looking like so I'm gonna to go to float I'm gonna float this right and then I'm gonna jump back to my left and I'm gonna make sure that that is floated there okay so now I have this footer and I'm gonna work on that so I'm gonna make sure basic global narrow that down and click text and so here I want to clear it because notice how it's going over there so this little icon helps me kind of get an idea of what I really want to do there and that looks great and I'm gonna do a couple other things with text so I'm gonna text align center it's one of the only times I like to center a font and I'm gonna do font size and you know I might do something like 0.8 M so just like that I'm going to go get some dummy text real quick and I have some here that I've already created so I'm gonna come back to section I'm gonna go to source code I'm gonna find my section and I'm gonna put an h2 because I already had an h1 and then I'm gonna paste that dummy text in there alright so I can come back and take a look at that and okay, that looks good so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna basically do a similar thing to my next one so I'm gonna find that other I'm gonna scroll down it's under here and here I'm basically looking to do I'll do an h3 because it's kind of a call out and then I'm gonna add some paragraph dummy text and I'm gonna make it a little shorter so let's go back to live view and let's save this and view it 
and it's basically saying that there's this responsive image. We actually deleted that, so we don't technically need that, but right now I'm not gonna worry about this because we're just doing a real basic site here. Okay, so this is my nice responsive image. I could add um, text to go over it. I could even you know, update this and say Photoshop. But for now, this looks pretty good. I could definitely, you know, change this to say day one, day two. Um, dummy text looks good. You know, I could probably work on tightening this up a little. But overall, you know, this looks fine. But you'll see that it adjusts depending on the layout. You'll notice that the navigation adjusts. So that looks good. But really, we want to collapse that down to a... Um, a different view where it's basically a one column layout when we're in kind of that mobile view so um, two other things I'll just jump over here I'm gonna just tweak that right a little I'm gonna say 37 and maybe that left you know I'll make 62 and you know take a look you know two other things I might do is I might add for the footer and I would organize this CSS later but um, margin top we'll say five pixels just to give it a little bit of breathing room so now that I have this let's focus on how I would basically add a media query to basically make this collapse down into a one column layout so the basic idea is that if I want to for instance let's click on there left so I got my section left I want it to be in my basic that looks good but here I want a media query and so this is where you can use some of their basic things but you can you know play with saying I want a minimum width of um, and I don't even have these numbers with me right now I really should but I'm just gonna say um, a minimum width of you know we'll say a hundred pixels and a max width of we'll say 400 pixels um, I want to, for this, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to make it actually just the left, right? But so this is where what I want to do is I still am fine with the float, but I want to change the width to 100%. And I'm going to go over here now that I've done this. I'm going to take a look at what it did, and so it basically created this media query that when it's you know within this size, it's going to adjust the screen that the user is using. It's going to change the width of this section with an ID left and I want to do the same thing with the one that's right and so the right though if you remember I floated it to the right right you can see it up there so I'm going to change this to float to the left when it's here so let's take a look and see what this looks like so I'm going to save all and preview it okay it looks great here you can see that when it starts to get a smaller view like that it becomes this two column layout and that's really what I wanted. Notice how everything just kind of adjusted. You know, there's the headings could probably be adjusted more, and you can get much more complicated with the media queries. Um, and sometimes I, if I'm being real lazy, I'll steal the media queries from the old Fluid Legacy, the Fluid Grid layout that they had, the, that they've kind of retired. It has some three different um, media queries that I like to just grab sometimes, but. With this, you know, what I could do down here is I could say, all right, I want my H1 to be, um, we'll say, 0.1M, and I want my H2, and actually, if you remember, my H1 is around the image, so let's just do this, H3. And this would be the last thing I'll show you, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, so maybe I want that to be, Point, we'll say one, one, right? And I'll change this one to point one three. So let's let's just take a look and see what this does. And that that was total guessing on the sizes there. Okay, this is what it looks like. But then when you get here, you notice ah, uh, see the sizing is not quite right. And this is where you can even it, and it's because it's too small. I meant one point three, and I meant one point one. Okay. So see how that adjusts? So just like that, we've created a basic site. This gave you a real basic introduction to how to create a real basic responsive design website using the bootstrap layout and really the fixed container. I hope this helps. Thanks.